Good day, fellow learners. Once again, this is your mentor, your fact check by the Ray Gapus, joining you for another teaching and learning session. This time around, we're going to talk about NGN pointer set number 22. Yes, you got it right. For those who just joined us for this teaching and learning session, could you please check on our pointers, beginning with pointer set number one onward, especially our videos on ECG, our videos on infection control, our videos on quick fix. You have it all in our YouTube channel, please. You can share it to our to your friends, to our friends. If you may want to see somebody pass the test, this is the right channel to go to. Okay, so welcome to our YouTube channel. And this is pointers number 22 for the next generation NCLEX RM. Join our thousands of passers worldwide. And let's learn from Brian G. Delen, USRN, from Manila Doctors College who passed the New York Board of Nursing last August 5, 2023. And this is what he wants to tell us. I was about to email you after an exam last August 5, 2023 to thank you. Kaso nag-shift yung alter ego kong yakin and I wasn't able to compose an email again. It was full of mixed emotions then para sa akin after finishing the exam. I was scheduled at 1700s or that's 5 p.m., but I arrived at Person View Makati at 4 in the afternoon and around 4.15, I started the exam. Finish at 5.55, okay? And he has something to say here. Wag nyo po akong gayahin, take your time. So just reminded everyone not to follow what he did. You have to take your time when it's your time to take your test. So after the 85th question, my computer told me that I have finished the exam. I know I did well. I know I passed. Look. He felt it from the start. You will feel it. And our Lord God, Jesus Christ, really was there for me. As in, I was on my clearest focus thinking mind at that moment. Thanks to him. Nakakabus ng moral sa Ray Gapus Review System. Thank you very much, Brian. If you are under Surrey and the whole Gapus Review team, other than talagang kailangan niyong magbasa at mag-aral, you just need to trust the process. They will lead you to our goal, which is to pass the NPEX. Thank you so much. That has always been our mission here at the Ray Gapus System. As for divine intervention, always ask for our Lord's guidance. Pray in everything. Be grateful and thankful. Quick fix is definitely a must. If you can attend the boot camp, you should. As much as gustong gusto kong makapunta noong July 24 to August 5, ako pinayagan ng Mrs. Ko. So she, he wanted to go to the boot camp, but he wasn't given permission by his wife. Access the computer and the work lab. So that's in our simulation laboratory here, the second floor of the Ray Gapus building here in UN Avenue, Manila. And here's what he has to say. Paguri nyo utak nyo. So it simply means Take as many tests as you can until your mind can no longer bear it or until you tire your mind. And lastly, gawin nyo din ginawa ko. And he says, you have to do what I did. Inuna kong itreat si na sir, manlibre kayo ng food para sa kanilang lahat dyan sa office, papa sa kayo cleaning. <laughs> so he just said, okay, treat everyone in the office. So he brought in Tapsilog. It's actually um, meat with fried eggs and of course fried rice it was really yummy thank you very much brian for the very very delicious lunch you brought when we had our quick fix session i think that was actually during the time that he was uh doing the course shells at the simulation room so i was also here because i have to create a program for their group okay congratulations once again brian bell and usrn now down to my expert opinion on what you need to study. The first one is macular degeneration. Now, this is actually related to aging. So it's usually called age-related macular degeneration. So compared to glaucoma, which affects peripheral vision, macular degeneration affects central vision. So if you are unable to recognize a familiar face, or if you're looking at a person and what you see are just the hairs, the ears, and then the neck, you can't seem to figure out the facial features in the middle of the face, then you are having macular degeneration. Or sometimes when lines become wavy and it makes it difficult for you to read, and then you are having age-related macular degeneration. So this problem, therefore, affects reading and driving. So it has safety implications. And there's no cure, but it the treatment that are available now can potentially delay the progress. But two things to remember for the NCLEX, 
to whom would you refer a client with macular degeneration? You have to clarify. If the patient has dry macular degeneration, the first problem would be blurring of vision. So you refer them to the optometrist who will adjust their lenses. But if the patient has wet macular degeneration, initially you need to refer them to the optometrist and then eventually to the ophthalmologist. What's the difference? The optometrist is a doctor of optometry, primarily tasked for adjusting your lenses. They can treat some eye conditions, but they cannot perform eye surgeries. Now, um, the ophthalmologist is a doctor of medicine specializing in the diseases of the eyes, and they can perform eye surgeries. So for a patient with wet age-related macular degeneration, initially, you need an optometrist and then an ophthalmologist. And then when their vision becomes blurred, you need to refer them to the occupational therapist. Now, one of the issues that are being asked on the actual exam is how would you prepare medication and inform the patient with macular degeneration about which medications do they need to take. So if you would want to assist clients with blurring, vision, with blurring of their visions, pay particular attention on their ability to differentiate shapes and their perception of color because that doesn't really go away with the loss of vision. So what they can do is to prepare their medications in bottles of different shapes, and you may potentially tell them that the ones that are placed in the circular bottle could be for the medications in the morning and the ones that are placed in, for example, a spare container could be medications for the evening. So that's how you assist patients with blurring of vision in terms of um, being able to attend to their needs related to their medications. Okay, next polysomnography is also known as a sleep test. The purpose is to diagnose sleep disorders. Now, this is also um, a diagnostic test that's done when you have children with sleep apnea. Okay, so it is used to identify brain waves, the oxygen level in the blood, and the heart rate, and of course, breathing of the child. Now, there are several things that I'd like to highlight. So polysomnography is not painful. So you have the reassured appearance that there's not going to be any pain. Now, there are electrodes that will be placed on the head of the patient as they sleep. However, um, you have to tell them to take their medications, especially if these medications are scheduled. But if the patient is taking tricyclic antidepressants like imipramine or tofanil or um, amitriptyline or elavil, tricyclic antidepressants will interfere with sleep. So these medications should be withheld because it causes insomnia. Another thing that you have to tell your patient before polysomnography is to avoid the intake of caffeine at least 12 hours before the test and to avoid taking a nap at daytime on the day of the test. Okay. Next, your tricyclic antidepressants. These are actually given to patients with uh, depression. And initially, it could also be given to patients with neuropathic pain. Like, for example, venlafaxine is uh, given to patients with neuropathic pain that are chronic. So um, when your tricyclic antidepressants are combined with drugs like venlafaxine, which is an SNRI, there is a tendency that serotonin syndrome could result. Now, serotonin syndrome is like the version of neuroleptic malignant syndrome in patients with depression. So you expect fever, muscle rigidity, seizures, shivering, and diarrhea. In, in the milder form of serotonin syndrome, you have diarrhea and shivering. In the more severe form, you have an NMS-like symptoms, neuroleptic malignant syndrome-like symptoms like fever, muscle rigidity, and seizures. So once again, neuroleptic malignant syndrome occurs in your neuroleptics or major tranquilizers, serotonin syndrome, which has almost very similar symptoms as that of your neuroleptic malignant syndrome, occurs in clients who are taking tricyclic antidepressant who combined it with SNRI like venlafaxine. Okay, so take note that antidepressants could also be given to decrease neuropathic pain in cancer patients. So if you'll be asked on the test, what is the purpose of your tricyclic antidepressants in a patient with cancer? Don't choose the one that says to decrease depression that comes with cancer. No, it is to decrease neuropathic.
pain. Okay, and of course, remember to always study with technology. And that means um, choosing the right study tools for you. And this is one of the feedback of our pastors. I asked this lady who passed the NGN test if she accessed our course shells. And she said, yes, sir. Is that the one online? And this is what she says. Tingin ko yung pinaka nakatulong sa akin ng gusto. So in her opinion, that's what helped her the most. And I asked her, bakit yun ang pinaka help? Why is that so? And then she says, nababalikan ko siya and I access anytime. Tapos napapractice ako sa mga pretest niya. Laking bagay. And she says, she is able to access it anytime and she's able to practice exams because that course shell really has a lot of exams that are aligned with the next generation NCLEX. So this is the course shells. You can access it for free if you are in our program. If you're not in our program, you can also access it for a fee because this is a cloud-based tool. So once again, always remember the most important thing when you're preparing for the test, be in a conducive environment. Should keep your sense of focus. So this is our class for the NCLEX and this is our NCLEX simulation room. And may I invite you to avail of our next generation NCLEX RN Flex, the most flexible test prep class for the NCLEX RN. Your choice of live face-to-face -face class, live virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, Cuban plus the three books, NGN strategies and sample questions, plus the live quick fix sessions. And it's only for a fee that starts at 3,499. Give us a call or email us at info at ragapusreview.com or call 0906-201-9383. I'll see you in my next pointers video because I know you are the next NCLEX RN, USRN. So this is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapus saying, functional concept a day keeps your NCLEX RN fears away. See you.